Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. A couple years ago, my buddy Ray told me he saw some video on YouTube of people down surf fishing and they were using drones. They call it drone fishing. Thought that was pretty interesting, so I looked it up, I watched some videos, and I thought maybe we should give that a try. Ray and I have been going to the Outer Banks pretty much every year for, I don't know, at least 15 years, probably. So I bought a drone, and I bought a decent drone, one that would be big enough and good enough to carry some bait out and drop it, and we actually tried it a few times. Now back the last time we tried it, I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time, but luckily, thanks to Ray's wife, we got some video of us flying the bait out. So... If you're interested in how to get a drone, what to look for, how to set it up for dropping bait for surf fishing, and you want to see a video of us actually doing it, please stick around. When I bought my drone, it was, you know, hundreds of dollars, so I bought this nice case to put it in. That way I can take it places and I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. If you open it up, what I bought was a DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Now, it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles like some of the DJI Phantoms, and I, I bought this years ago. Back then, the best one they made was the Phantom 4. I don't even know if they make the Phantom 3 or the Phantom 4 anymore. But this is a good-sized drone, so it will it'll carry some weight and some baits out into the water. Now, this one does not have the uh, collision avoidance built into it, but I figured that's okay. I'm flying mine down at the beach, out across the water. I'm probably not going to run into anything. But anyways, let me show you a little bit about this drone and uh, how we rigged it up so that we could drop baits with it. This drone is large and heavy enough where it has to be registered with the FAA. And I did take the little safety course online. I got my card and it is registered and licensed with the FAA. Like I say, you got to get one big enough. A lot of the new drones are real small. Um, you got to get one big enough that will carry some weight and bait out there. I mean, you may be carrying two, three, four ounces. As of, for instance, I bought this drone here, which is not really as big as the DJI. I bought it just for practice, and I, I tested this out in my driveway, and this thing will only lift a one-ounce sinker. Above one ounce, it won't get off the ground. So that's what I mean. you got to kind of get a decent-sized drone if you want to use it for fishing. I put the propellers on it, and what I want to show you is how I rigged it up so that we could drop bait, but I wanted to keep the camera on it. Now, my buddy Ray bought an electronic bait drop, and we tested it out, and it's okay. The only problem is, you know, its range is limited, and the batteries go dead, and it, it does have moving parts and everything else, so it, it seemed like it could, there was a, we had a lot of issues with it. So what we rigged up, we think is a little bit simpler. So Ray and I did some experimenting. By the way, you'll see Ray in the video where we're actually flying it and dropping bait. Um, we did some experimenting of how to do this that would be pretty easy. And what we came up with is basically I bought what are called planer board clips. These are for where you're out trolling, like out in the bay. And all they are is little kind of like clips that you can open up like that. But anyways, what I did is I, I used a clip and I put some paracord on it. Once again, in the description where I buy my paracord. It's in the description of this video. And then on the other end, I just put like a little latch like that. Now, I wanted it to kind of stay. I wanted to keep the camera on and I wanted it to kind of stay in the middle of the drone so that it didn't throw off the balance. So all I did is I took some electrical zip ties. Trying to get to I put some I put a couple electrical zip ties here between the legs. And then I put a little teeny zip tie right in the middle. And all I do is I just hook this little clip right onto them ties like that. 
And you want to make sure you got plenty of paracord hanging down so that when you're hooking the bait up, the drone doesn't have to be real close to you and you don't want to get the fishing line tangled up into the propellers. That happened to me once. It was a nightmare. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyways, so your drone definitely should have GPS at least. Um, GPS satellite makes where when you let off the sticks, it will just hover. It'll just hang there. And you'll notice if you look in the video when me and Ray are flying a bait out, I can look away from it, take my hands off the stick and everything, and it will just hang there. It will just hang there in air so that he can hook the fishing line into this clip. And that's what he does. Now, once he gets the fishing line hooked into this clip, he backs away and I go straight up. I only go up like 25 feet. And then he opens the bail on his spinning reel. And at that point, I just start flying out. And as I fly out, it just pulls line off the spinning reel until he gets out as far as he wants. And then I stop and then he flips his bail back over. And then I just go forward with the drone again. And when I go forward with the drone again, the fishing line that's clamped into this thing, it'll pull right out and it'll drop into the water. And then I just fly this right straight back, you know, with this paracord and stuff hanging down. Like I say, you'll see, you'll see how we fly it out in the video. Um, and it, it does leave the camera on it too, so it's kind of cool. We can focus the camera down and we can, as we're flying out, we can look down at the water. But watch the video, like I say, it's from a couple years ago. Like I say, I didn't have a YouTube channel then, but luckily, thanks to Ray's wife, she did film it, and we have some video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on drone fishing. Thanks for watching it. Uh, Ray and I plan on going down the Outer Banks this fall. Going to take the drone again. Hopefully, I'll get some good video for the channel. But you all know the drill. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up like. 
share it. Hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time I put a video out. And I'll see you on the next video.